Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life. And as you can see, sitting in my hands here, we have somewhat of a treat. This is the Sony Xperia Z2. So this was announced by Sony at MWC in February. And it sort of took the mobile tech world by storm because Sony packaged everything new and brilliant that was available uh, inside this phone. Now, unfortunately for US customers, we're not expecting it anytime soon. There were some rumors that it might come to Verizon and we even saw a render uh, with Verizon branding on it, but Sony's told us not to expect even an unlocked model until late summer, so that's unfortunate. Uh, before we dive into the phone though, let's make this an official unboxing and at least show you the box. So as you can see, I can't read most of what's on here because it's not in English. Uh, yeah, so as you can tell, we, we, we bought a, a model that was essentially imported since again, it's not coming to the US. Uh, the box is rather large, but I did want to just show you what Sony tosses in here. So you do have, you know, your standard uh, micro USB cable, though for some reason, Sony seems to be designed nicer than everyone else's. Uh, but they also toss in a dock, which is kind of cool. So you can throw your phone in their landscape. Now, you know, this uh, docks are things that most companies charge you extra for. Uh, but Sony has pins and you can slide this thing in there. And when you have power, it actually turns landscape so you can consume content and, you know, whatever you'd like to do. But kind of cool there and then of course here are earbuds which we might give a shot since sony could make decent headphones uh but yeah there you go there's the unboxing part so back to the phone uh if we talk specs obviously the the big beautiful 5.2 inch full hd triluminous display is oh with x reality is is sort of the star here uh it, you know sony's sort of been hammered on for their poor displays in the past but this one is supposed to be pretty brilliant. So we'll definitely give it some look. Uh, on the back here is your 20.7 megapixel camera. It's got all sorts of fun features and stuff we'll dive into later. Uh, you do have a 3200 milliamp hour battery packed in there, three gig of RAM, a 16 gig of internal storage, along with micro SD card support that supports up to 128 gig cards. And that slot is right here under this flap. Uh, speaking of flaps, this is uh, dust and water resistant as well. So you want to make sure you get those all sealed up. There is your sort of iconic power button and volume rocker and then dedicated camera button down here on the bottom. Uh, if we flip over, there are those pins which uh, dock into the dock. And then on this side, you do have your micro USB charging port there and a micro SIM slot. So it is micro SIM, not nano. And again, get those sealed up because it is uh, dust and waterproof. On the bottom down here, I've I believe these are just microphone. Uh, I do not believe that's a speaker because I believe the speaker is sort of that little slit under the glass there. Uh, you do have a headphone jack up top and another microphone. And uh, that's sort of a tour of the outside. Uh, you do have on-screen buttons, so Android enthusiasts will be excited. And a big old notification light up top, which is pretty colorful and bright and really nice. Uh, in terms of first impressions in hands, I'm not overly excited yet. Uh, I have only had the phone in hand for a uh, couple minutes, but there's this sort of ridge on the back side here. And I'm tempted to call it sharp because Im immediately when I put this in my hand, I could feel that ridge digging into my hand. And then you also have the uh, camera button down there to worry about. But it just feels a little sharp. I don't, I don't know that that's a deal breaker by any means, uh, but it definitely feels, you notice it when you're holding it in hand. So, you know, you could probably get over it. It's definitely not round and pillowy like you know the HTC One M8 or something, but uh, the rest of it though is incredibly premium feeling. So it just feels solid in the hand. You can see all these metal accents and bands going sort of around the outside. Sony does really design really nice looking smartphones. Um, so if, if you know if you've never played with one, you know it's one of those things that hopefully someday you will uh, have a chance to pick up because they really are really are built quite nicely. Uh, if we just jump around the UI for a second here, uh, before, you know, we'll do the more in-depth stuff here, probably a tips and tricks video, but you can see their skin hasn't changed all that much over the years. Uh, it does feel a little bit snappier and a little more refined just in the few minutes I've played with it here. Uh, Sony does do some cool things like if you go into multitasking, you can pop up a calculator on top of whatever you're doing or a timer or a mini browser and things like that. So you do have some multitasking stuff. Uh, if you swipe up from home, you can get into Google Now or the sort of media center. So if you want to, you know, download Michael Jackson's new album or get a movie or some other games and things like that, you can do that quickly from anywhere. Sort of an interesting idea. Uh, in the app drawer, though, you got your horizontal app drawer. Uh, if you get all the way to the main screen, though, a little swipe from the left will get you into sort thing. Uh, sorry, sort options and things like that. Just kind of a nice little UI touch there. Uh, this is your notification shade. 
Uh, so it has a notification tab up top. It actually says that in a quick settings. Uh, now you can edit all of your quick settings and remove some, add more, change the uh, order of them around, things like that. And uh, double quick, or I'm sorry, double swipe down will actually get you right into those. If you go into settings, you can see the layout here is sort of traditional Android, though there's more color and some flair added to it. Uh, one thing I did want to point out in power management, it has a stamina mode and a low battery mode, just like, you know, the Galaxy S5 and HTC One M8 do with their sort of extreme and ultra power saving modes. So it does have that. Uh, oh, and it also, I like that it tells you how much battery time you have left. It's kind of a nice touch. I wish most, most other phones would tell that. Uh, if we go to about phone, you'll see it is running Android 4.4.2. So running the newest version of KitKat. Uh, in the software update button, though, I did want to show you that uh, Sony will tell you if you have updates for their system apps and just system updates in general. Again, if you've never played with a Sony Xperia device, this might sound kind of new and odd to you, but they will tell you if you have new apps or some things like that to update in there. Uh, so, you know, overall, pretty cool phone uh, just within the first few minutes of it. Um, and let me show you the camera real quick, actually, before we before we finish this. So the camera, 20.7 megapixel sensor, and it's got all sorts of special modes like background defocus, which is the uh, hot item of the moment. It does have a whole bunch of manual settings as well. It records 4K video. Um, you can do this cool thing called creative effect, uh, which lets you sort of creatively affect uh, photos on the fly. And it's, uh, it, you can do anything from sort of cartoonish looking things to old film and um, mosaic tiled things. You can really do something cool that like fisheye was in there as well if you missed that. Uh, they also built in a Vine shortcut and Vine does come pre-installed. So there's a deal worked out there. Obviously panorama modes, things like that. So the camera here is supposed to be a stud and we will definitely give it some full run here. And just to show you, I'll just take a quick picture here. So tap to focus and then snap it's not the fastest camera ever but it does seem fairly fast definitely not as fast as the galaxy s5 or the htc1 m8 for that matter uh, here's some more camera settings so there's lots of stuff going on in here from sony um you can also in case you didn't know with this dedicated camera button you can long press and that will launch right into the camera and then you can actually take a quick photo and you can do that from anywhere it doesn't have to be with the screen off you can actually do that from an app um, and I was actually trying to just keep long pressing, take a picture. I swear they used to have that feature built in, but didn't actually work. So, um, this is the gallery though. And I'll show you quickly a picture, this one. So I actually use the background defocus here and the background defocus is kind of cool. Cause you can sort of drag a slider along to, uh, to, you know, adjust the sort of amount of blur, which is kind of cool. Uh, but you know, that's just a quick tour again, first impressions. Uh, this is a Sony Xperia Z2 and it's, you know, it's not coming to the U S anytime soon. Uh, we might get an unlocked model this summer, which will be really expensive. And that's too bad because so far it feels like a pretty premium device. Again, it's pretty large. Um, but uh, overall, I'm uh, actually pretty excited to dive in and give it some run. Uh, so you can see how large it is. HTC One M8 we complained about being way too tall. And you can see this phone is either as tall or slightly taller and just as wide. So it's, it's a big phone, folks. Uh, and, you know, a lot of you really like big phones. So that might not be a problem. But. Just wanted to point out that it is large. So uh, anyways, if you got comments, questions, want us to test anything specific on the Xperia Z2, we can do that. Uh, but for now, we're Droid Life. We're out. Peace.